Greetings, daughters. And sons. <laughs> Today we're talking Milan. <laughs> the Disney. Milan. And we're drinking green mountain tea. Mulan. There's this huge dichotomy, I feel like, in Disney in general between the storyline and narrative of cartoon princesses yeah. and the marketing of princess, official princess materials. Disney princess TM. We're just really disappointed in Mulan merchandise. I'm livid. <laughs> I would call myself livid. She's in the outfit she ruins everything in and doesn't feel like herself in and, and sings reflections hates. and cries and she hates. I feel like sometimes that she's wearing the dress that she wears at the end of the movie when she gets to be a woman yes. again. I've seen those. I've seen that. But like, she let's be real. The pinkified one with the white It's everywhere. Face, it's dolls. It's, like makeup. Yeah. They did the same thing to Merida. She Merida's. literally cries and wipes it off her face. Yeah. yeah. Sure. There's nothing wrong with a princess wearing armor. There's nothing wrong with that. And there's there's so many princesses in sparkly poofy dresses that like if that is your aesthetic as a little girl, like you have so many options. So many options. You've got Tiana, you've got Cinderella. If you wanted an Asian princess in a sparkly pretty dress, maybe make another movie. Make another movie. Yeah, really a make another Really that's what we're asking for is making yeah. another Mulan's cool because it is an exploration of gender, gender fluidity, and it is really representative of like what clothes are you wearing? What clothes and hair in there and clothes? Hair. Hair. How do you perform your gender? Yeah, it's or gender you... expression, the and outward you... layer. Like most of the songs in the movie are really focused on that. I mean, obviously Mulan goes undercover. Yeah. As a dude. It starts out with uh, "Please bring honor to us all," really establishing what it means to be a perfect bride and a perfect daughter and perform the gender of female in Mulan's space. And how um, that affects her. Everything in this movie is grounded in Mulan. Like we're, right, we are so. in her perspective, obviously, but we are so grounded in her that we feel the anxiety of everything going wrong in Please Bring Honor to Us All. Yeah. We feel the Pressure. frustration after reflection of the fact that she, we know how hard she's tried and the fact that she tries really hard and she has so all hard. of this energy welled up inside of her and then she still gets yelled at by her dad. Like that's always the yeah. hardest part for me she's still is when her crushed. dad tells her she needs to start acting like a girl and we know how hard that is and she still is not she's able to so do hard. it. Yeah. Um, but what's also great is that in that conversation with her dad when he says the latest flowers are the most beautiful of all and then that actually does happen to Mulan, not in a way that the dad like that could understand it. until it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Like Disney does a really good job, I think, of taking these villainous fathers or these passive villain mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. and you know, opening their eyes and turning them into someone who mm -hmm. is an ally yeah. to their daughter. And then you get I'll make a it. man out of you. That you song, you've got it stuck in your head now, so. And then, <laughs> I don't know anyone that doesn't have this moment, like, did they send me daughters <laughs> when <laughs> I asked for sons? Yes, they did. They really did. An analog to Please Bring Honor to Us All pretty much outlines what it means to be an ideal man mm. as performed by Shang Li, who totally nails all those points in the list and is here he to just make every other dude like that, yeah. except for all of the misfits that hang out with Mulan. It still highlights so much how much of being a man is training to be like a man. Yeah. And you are so rooting like for woman. Mulan to be able to do that. Yeah. We're like, like your woman thing didn't work. Maybe this, she has to do it. Her life depends on it. Her like father's life depends on it. She yeah. wants to find that sense of honor and being someone that someone can be proud of. Uh -huh. I think that really motivates and I think, her. I think that is what resonates, resonates so much so with much. an audience, why everyone I don't care who you are, you can identify with Mulan because there's something about her story about the idea of not being able to live up to what's expected, expected of you yeah. or what you even looking what you expect reflection. of yourself. Yeah. And looking in your reflection and not liking what you see and wanting to change that, I mean, that's universal. The girl worth fighting for. Yeah. I love that song because I love how uncomfortable we are. Like, Mulan is so uncomfortable. Yeah, because we're with Mulan and it's we're just, carrying this laundry we're list like, of like, this is what I'm looking really for. Silly. It, like, it's silly. Yeah. It's so funny. You're it's laughing so, at all the men in yeah, that. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> 
She's also sort of going, Who is this? you know, they didn't really say <laughs> any of these things. The matchmaker didn't stress any of these things. Yeah. They're... This is what the men really want out of women is like help meets and partners and companions who, okay. who prize the things also, that they prize. Also, someone who makes me these specific meals because those are my favorites. Right. And someone who's really pretty and uh, like he's definitely shaving her boobs. <laughs> like they're, they're not. No, like, no, no. But really. the thing is, is that those are things that the matchmaker did yeah. not, she does not understand any better yes. what m- makes a perfect She is, no, no, <laughs> she's making a daughter-in-law. Yes. yes. She is what a daughter-in-law is supposed to be, yeah. not a wife. Right. Yes. That's what she's making. And they're looking for sexual partners and caretakers <laughs> for the most part. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Mulan is caught in between these as a human. <laughs> and because we're all human, we're with her. And we're going, these are not roles for someone to step into. None of this them are. Is, these are these are two dimensional boxes. We can't step into that. Which is why I love when she has this like hero. Her sister here moment on the mountain, and then she has her dishonor moment still on the mountain, right? Where she's like exposed as a woman, and then she comes out as as this flower that blooms. That is somewhere in between masculine yeah. and feminine. She still has her boy short hair, but she doesn't have any makeup on. Yeah. But she's wearing like a more plain dress that she was kind of wearing in the beginning. She's, and she you can, can move in. She's, let's be let's be real. She is a woman. Yes. Yeah. And that's not she a part of her that she well. doesn't that she doesn't want. She right. doesn't want to be a. She's man. been concealing it for personal safety, not because. Right. right. Yeah. So she does want to be a woman, and she is in love with a man, and so she's a straight cisgender yeah. woman. But what's great too is that because that outfit in the end has like those small aspects of being a man, that sort of pays to the masculinized version of her that Shang fell in love with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he has but to like with. he has to deal with that he's attracted to a person. Black and right. White. Like that he's attracted to this person. Rather than and her that body is completely alone. different from all of the expectations that he would have been given his entire life mm-hmm. about what his like sexual feelings would be. Yeah. All right, guys. Read, elect, supply with an army. Supply Mulan. Oh God, army, give Mulan charge obviously. of that army. Yeah, she's she, a brilliant. She tactician. knows what to do with Wait, it. Wait, can I? Can I have Li Shang's like bat logs of encounters? No! <laughs> Section deleted. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yes. Li yes. Shang trying to make his feelings like data. <laughs> do, do we want to read the grandmother? I would elect, elect, the, the, grandmother. elect the grandmother. I would yeah. elect her. She's got like a great style I'd to also her. Sign me yeah. up for the next, next war. war. So good. On that. <laughs>